This dress was made with um, my princess dart pattern. If you followed my other videos, you will find it on my channel. The remaining parts of the dress were made from two different fabrics. So I combined a plain and patterned fabric. Come with me as I show you the step-by-step -step guide on how to make this gypsy dress. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel. Ensure to share and like this video. Drop a comment down below if you like to request a particular video and I'll put it up the next time. I promise you that. Let's go. out my princess that pattern so I've cut my bodies here and I'm going to sew them now then these are the pieces for the other two steps of the dress for the first step what I simply did on each of these steps is to add extra 20 inch to the next step okay so now for the first one I measured my hip circumference plus 20 inches you can make this bigger than 20 inches this depends on how full you want the dress to come out okay so my hip for example is 43 inches and i've added 20 inches to that so that makes it 62 inches and the length that's from the waistline going down to the bottom is 10 inches okay so how you derive that is you measure from your half length which is the waistline of your bodies to the length of the dress okay then divide by the number of steps you want so i'm using three steps that's these three colors so i've divided my full length is 42 and i've divided that's taking away the half length so from the this point to the bottom i've divided that into three and i got nine inches for each of them so you're going to add extra one inch so it's going to be 9 plus 1, which is 10. So the length is going to be 10 inches for each of them. Okay. Then the width is going to be your hip circumference plus 20 inches. So on this first piece, I have 10 inch length and 62, 63 inch width, if this makes sense. Then on the next one, I have 10, 10 inch length plus 62 inch width plus another 20 extra inch okay so we're adding extra 20 inch to each of the steps so this is 62 and this is 62 plus 20 that's 82 and this one is 82 plus 20 so that's 102 okay that's what i have for each of the steps then the width for the last one instead of adding one inch to the length i added two inches because we're going to have the bottom i hope this makes sense okay so that's exactly what i did here so we're going to sew all this together to make our gypsy dress first we'll prepare the bodies i won't bore you with so much details of the sewing as i've already done the sewing of my princess that if you watch my jacket pattern you will see how i join the princess that so i won't really go details in in showing you the step by steps of joining this basically just to join up all the sides and add your lining to that. So I'm going to do that and show you how to join the other steps. I've sewn my bodies. The next step is to overlock the top and bottom edges of our three steps, okay? the top and bottom edges of all the pieces as you can see and I also went ahead to sew and overlock the ends of all the pieces making it a round continuous piece so what we're going to do next is 
to make some basting stitch on only the top edge of the three tiers if you know what i mean so for each of them we're going to make basting stitch at the top or you can make a um, you know a gather stitch the usual one or you can make your ruffles on the top end okay your sewing machine has that function just make your loose stitch and dry drag it anyhow it works out for you okay so when we do that on the top piece our guide would be the bottom of the step before for the top panel we're going to use the measurements of the waist circumference okay so this is our bodies this waist circumference will determine the length of this top panel so we're going to sew and make the gather stitch and ensure it aligns with this waist circumference it will be the same measurement so that by the time we sew it on it will be equal okay then when we've done that to the first one we'll move to the next step so i've done my basting stitch and i've dragged it to the normal length or to the width of my waistline okay as you can see so what we need to do now is to align this and pin them in place okay with the right side together like so so we're going to pin that then we'll pin the sides okay like so then we'll have to also pin this side just make sure your ruffles are even okay distribute them evenly around the waistline so that one side will not be fuller than the other you know what i mean so you just uh, pin them with the right sides together So at the back i fixed my zipper and extended it to the pleats okay so but if you're using a stretchy fabric or if you don't require a zipper you can as well just leave out that part okay but just ensure it aligns properly so on this point we're going to also pin that in place and we'll pin just pin it all around the waistline and we're going to sew around it okay I've already done a part of the sewing on the waistline where the zipper meets. Okay, so we'll just sew this round, then we'll move to the next tier. So, just like we did on the waistline. We're going to do same on this next part okay so we've sewn this so we're going to also attach our next step all right so like we did here we're going to also use this bottom okay you can measure it with your tape and determine how wide it is so the measurements you get you apply it to the top of this next step and ensure they are equal so by the time you distribute your ruffles evenly you ensure it's the same measurement as this top part okay so you're going to drag it and ensure it's same measurements before you start sewing okay and i've done that here all right so next i'm going to pin them in place all right so you just keep dragging until you achieve this measurement then you're going to pin this again with the right sides together like so you're going to pin that like this okay then you pin this end as well with the right sides together like so okay then you're going to pin this end as well 
okay you just pin basically around the bottom okay so you, you pin the bottom to the top of the next step when you pin that round you will still sew it just like you did on the waistline and now to attach the very last one we we'll also do same ensure we distribute our ruffles evenly then we we'll pin them in place with the right sides together then we're going to also sew round just the way we've done on the other two above. Okay, so just pin them in place and sew around it. Once you're happy with the distribution of the ruffle, again ensure the top part is equal to the bottom of the one directly on top of it, just like we've done to the other two okay so we'll just distribute this and we're going to also sew round so lastly we're going to hem the bottom okay so just fold that twice and we're going to sew on that point just to hem the bottom okay when we've done that we now have a look again at the whole dress and see if our seam are neatly finished. If not, we have to overlock to finish up neatly. Okay, and give it a very good press. Then we're ready to rock our dress. As you can see, it's very beautiful. I'll see you in my next video. Please be good and ensure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye.